gun schools in this country were shut down until uh, the late 70s when Cooper opened gun sight. The pistols we all take for granted, they did not exist at that time. All we had were 1911s. So when and you have a 1911 and it stove pipes, it tends to do that. It catches a piece of brass straight up. You look through the rear sight, you see a chimney of brass instead of a front sight. So that's where the name came from, stove pipe. And back in the day when that's what we had, all we had to do to clear it was put the hand right in front of it on the side, just knock it off and come right back around. So you just wipe it off just like that and come right back onto the gun. Now, the problem with that is 1911s are about the only pistols that catch them that way. What we tend to see on the more modern guns, locks and sigs and whatnot, is this. Now, if we try that with this, what happens? Nothing. You just cut, it, cut a big flap of skin off your th uh, finger, get blood and stuff all over the gun. So that's not going to work. So what's the correct fix? Tap right. Tap right. Dump the magnets, go right over top, run the slide really hard, come back underneath, get back onto the gun, go back to what you were doing. Now, if you would look on the ground there, you'll notice that not only did that empty case come out, what else? Live round. Live round came out of the chamber. Right, I want you to look at the pistol carefully. There's the spent round, there's also a live round there. I've been doing this for over 40 years. I have seen tens of millions of rounds go down range, and I have never seen a stovepipe that didn't have a live round in front of it. Never, not one time. What would we consider that? That's a clue, right. <laughs> There's going to be a live round there. The slide is back just enough that the extractor really doesn't have a bite on that cartridge, okay? So what's going to make it come out? Use. Right, centrifugal force. This is why we got to pull the slide back really hard and spin the gun to the right, because that's got to come out and the extractor's not really going to pull it out. So we got to make it come out. The only way to do that is pull the slide really hard and spin it at the same time. That's got to come out, but that cartridge is also got to come out or you're going to create a double feed. Okay, so the correct fix for this, we firing merrily along, you bump the magazine, go top. Now watch the gun. Two things, live round in the dummy came out, and they went all the way over there, one, two, three shooters away. And that's what we have to have. If we don't run the gun that vigorously, guess what you're gonna have? A gun that doesn't work, okay? So grab the back of that slide and run it hard when you do that, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is do this as, as partners. The shooter is going to keep the finger away from the trigger and away from the muzzle and just pinch the slide back a little bit and then your partner will just stand a piece of brass straight up right in your breech because that's the easiest way to do it and then step out of the way and then you'll have a malfunction to fix. Okay? Everybody got it? Yes. All right, let's get